Hey, it's Maddie. Hey, it's Andrea. And today we're going to be doing Tea Times Talk. We're going to be doing Back to School College Edition. So yeah, we're going to be giving you guys five tips for all the newcomers um, this year. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Tip number one is always know your stuff. So pretty much when we say that, we really just mean like if you're going to skip classes because people who go to bigger schools tend to skip classes because their teachers don't know them or professors so that you know like whatever but if you're gonna do that just make sure you're able to either get notes from somebody else or when it comes time to take the test you kind of know yourself already like in psychology freshman year I fell asleep like every day in that class she was just boring truthfully it wasn't me it was her but um I still actually did really really well on the test so I think if you're gonna if you're a good studier then I guess maybe that'll work in your favor or something like that but if you're gonna skip class or whatever the case may be just make sure that you're able to still do well and get those good grades tip number two is have a social life um there's always groups and stuff to join even if you're not like a people person mm -hmm. it's still good to have people who support you yeah. and everything and be in an environment where it's like even if you're like a geeky person, join a geeky club. So what she means is ex in internal, <laughs> in internal, extrovert. What's the other word? Introvert. Introvert. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> but like people need people. It's a human thing. Yeah. So I think college, you know, if you didn't have friends or maybe if you got bullied or whatever the case may be in high school, I think college is sometimes definitely the place to where um you know it is the time to maybe try and branch out and get those friends or you know join that club um, or whatever the case yeah exactly and i mean also i think college is the time to where you can eat you know alone and not look weird or be by yourself and not look weird so i mean if you really are just that type of person that's fine too like in college, no one ever really looks at you when you're by yourself just because it just means you're most likely studying yeah. or whatever the case may be or your friends may have classes why you, you know, you're all by yourself or stuff. So if you're if you're just that type of person that wants to be by yourself, then I think it also works and you won't seem like the weird kid or, or whatever if that really works for you. But I think it's always good to join clubs and, and you know, college is all about having the good times. So I think it's always good to have those group of friends or have that club or whatever the case may be to really... I guess give you that best taste of the college life or whatever so yeah <laughs> unless you go to all girls school then it, it won't happen I'm just kidding <laughs> okay so <laughs> right <laughs> so uh, tip number three is no distractions so speaking of all girls school that's actually one of the reasons why I went there for me it was like you know I'm, I'm gonna be you know having classes with all these women so like I, I won't have any distractions and I'll really be able to focus um, on my schoolwork. Not saying that if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend that that means you're going to be distracted. Distraction? What? <laughs> distracted? But it's always good to maybe try and eliminate that um, beforehand just because you know if you have a boyfriend or something like that then yeah maybe you'll end up going out with him nine times out of ten when you should be maybe studying or doing your homework or whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah. It's finding that balance. Mm. Like that was really hard for me. Like I'm not a school person at all so I would choose going out and doing stuff over studying or even going to class. But <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This comes from a girl who knows, okay? <laughs> Tip number four is to spend your money wisely because whether or not like your parents are paying for your tuition or you have to work and you're paying for it yourself, it's still important to track your money and know how much you're spending on what. Like my roommate, last year she had this whole Excel spreadsheet of like how much money she made and like what she spent it on each day. It's like that's goals. Like I'm not that organized. Yeah, we're we're not in. No, <laughs> I don't do. Like but she's she's in accounting, stuff. so. Mm, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like even knowing like if you give yourself a budget of like twenty dollars a week for like a treat, and then like. I think books and stuff are expensive. True, they are. I think in general, it's just a good, um, I don't know, skill or whatever, a habit tip. to have. Yeah, because in life, you know, you're going to find yourself, especially when you get your own place or whatever, like, you know, you're probably definitely going to have to start to budget and, like, know how much you're going to have to spend on this and that and make sure you prioritize your money because you never want to spend money on you know a dog or something when you can be spending it on rent or something like that so it's all about just you know making those the the smart decision i'm not gonna say right decision the smart decision um when it comes to money especially when you're in college because you're gonna have so much to pay and, and everything like that like with me i'm a commuter and so my freshman year i would bum off with this person and like other people at our school because like i'd be broke and like you know i in you know i had a job at the first half of the semester so well first semester and so 
Um, but yeah, it was, it was really terrible. But then it also goes into prioritizing other things too, because like sometimes you don't have enough time for an extra job. True, true. And so you won't have the extra money, and it's like trying to work around that and everything. But it's also good to treat yourself too with like, because college is very stressful. It's like finding a good balance for right. you. 100%. Because you're not going to be in the same situation as like all your friends. Sometimes they'll have a lot more money to go out and do stuff and you're just going to be like, I'm going to sit here and eat right. my ramen. <laughs> <sighs> Tip number five is learn to be yourself. Um, obviously, throughout the years, you're going to really learn who you are. Or I hope you know you really learn who you are and where you're trying to go in life and yada, yada, yada. Um, college is the place to, you know, have fun, make mistakes, and make more mistakes and more mistakes. And then hopefully by the time you graduate, you know, you're able to really look in the mirror and know who you are and where you're trying to go in your life. So, yeah. And I think, like, college is pretty accepting. Like, everyone there yeah. is... For sure. It's different than high school because everyone has their own group and it's like they're more open to like communicating with the other groups too. Like there's something for everybody if you just go out and right. look for it. 100%. I just, yeah. And if you ever go to a school that you just don't really vibe with, maybe you should change schools. Because yeah. I feel like college, you're going to be there for four years most likely unless you're doing a community college or something like that. But So you want to make sure you're choosing a place that is really going to have your best interest or, or what not in 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 hand or, or whatever some so, people yeah. change schools every year because like they just don't have the right fit and that's okay it's just finding what you want and what's a good thing for you 100 percent yeah so hope those tips helped you guys out and hope you guys have a good first year for all the freshmen out there frosh and uh don't uh, gain the freshman was it 17 this year? <laughs> I don't that's, think that's a real, real. thing. It also, didn't happen that should to me, be so. a tip. I gained it. It was horrible. But then so. I lost it. Yeah, but if you do, I mean, whatever. Like I said, no one's going to look at you weird. No, it's. It's going to be somebody else there. That's still not possible. good for your health, though. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Just not a lot of things. Cause don't do drugs and don't drink. <laughs> okay. Everything in Bye. moderation. Okay. If you like this video, make sure to give this a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. And be on the, on the lookout. Oh, guys, what? We'll see you guys next week. Bye.